So how long will this pruning job take? Uh, it'll take me about, if all goes according to plan, it'll take me about three months. Okay. So right yeah, yeah, which is when you want to be done. You don't want to be pruning too, too late after March. What will I do? When? After the March. Uh, well, March. March will be. March will be. I mean, let's see. January, February, March. I'll be pretty much ending right at the end of March. Okay. And uh, and then you know then it'll be time to start spraying. Okay. Put the herbicide down, and then the first couple of first couple of sprays uh, happen very, you know, even before the blossoms come out. So. It goes right into that. Okay. And, uh, uh, so when I'm by myself, I will go through with the chainsaw pretty much until I run out of gas. You know, and then I come back, and then you use the, the hook pruner and a handsaw to clean up. What exactly is this pruning? What does that entail? Well, it means different things for any uh, different things for different kinds of trees. Um, for apple trees, there's a very specific set of, of, I don't know how you'd say it, rules, I guess, that you, you're supposed to follow. Okay. Um, uh, like a tree should have three scab, uh, these are, these are semi-dwarf trees, right? Not, not like dwarfs or spindles or anything. Um, theoretically, a tree should have three scaffolds, you know, so you need to maintain that, each one smaller than the, than the other. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's, it should have like a Christmas tree shape. Okay. So you try and maintain that. That can be a little difficult sometimes if the trees are old, you know, because they've been being messed with for 50 years. You know, what I mean? you know, it may not, it's sometimes it's difficult to hold that shape. But, you know, other things you do is, is you, you cut off the suckers, the, the limbs that go straight up. Okay. Because all those never fruit and all they do is grow leaves and block the sun and, 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 the, and the wind, you know, the air. Um, and you, you'd like to take off crisscrossing limbs, limbs that grow straight down, especially if they're on the bottom scaffold because they'll drag on the ground and the mower will tear them off. Um, but, so this is, this is, there's a set of like seven, or like five or six or seven standard rules and things you should look for and follow, but really what it, what it boils down to uh, is you're, 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 you're opening up the tree. You're letting the, the, the breeze in, you're letting the sunshine in, you're letting the spray in. You know, if it's too crowded, the apples never see the sun, so they never get red. Okay. Uh, the spray won't penetrate and you'll have disease and pest pressure, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and things like that. So, you know, you can talk all day long about how you want to take this crisscross out. Or the, you know, what you're doing is opening up a hole. Okay. You're opening up the tree. Now, biologically, there's absolutely nothing happening with this tree. It's dead, okay. in a sense. It's do totally dormant. It's not growing. It's not healing. It's not doing anything. Okay. Uh, which is why we cut now, because uh, um, it gives it time, you know, to scab over, you know, things like that. Once it comes out of dormancy, plus you'll injure the tree if you take too much off of it when it's not dormant. When does the dormant season end? When it warms up. Okay. You know, uh, you know, the 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 trees start to blossom in like in April, so. You know, around March when the weather, you know, all the snow is gone and the weather starts to warm up, they, they start to grow their new, you know, pop their new buds and, and start the new season. 